Coast is awesome at sending newsletters. Personally though, I wanted to have other articles in addition to my newsletters that I sent out. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I set up a separate collection for my newsletters so that they wouldn't appear on the main page and make it easier to kind of differentiate between my normal articles and my newsletters that I send out. So here's my settings page for Ghost. We're gonna be looking at this a lot today, but I wanted to kind of show you really quick what I'm actually setting up. So you'll notice here, this is my homepage for my site. If I scroll down, I can see like all the articles I've been writing for the past few weeks. But the tab in particular that's important right here is the newsletters button, the newsletters link. So now I am just on this page and these are the only articles here, these two newsletters that I've sent out. But if I click home, these won't appear. There is no crossover between these articles and these newsletters. So this is a really easy way for me to keep track of, you know, which one is which, but it also lets my visitors see, oh, hey, you know, these articles are posted, sure, but there's another section entirely just for newsletters. And by the way, if you want to subscribe to the newsletter, there's also a little subscribe button right here. And if you just click that, you enter your email address and your name, and you can too be added to these newsletters. To get this set up, we need to do four things. One of them is optional, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that first as I think it's the simplest part of the process. So here on the admin page, I can click, by the way, if you need to get to this page, you just go down to the bottom of your admin panel and click this little gear icon, and this will bring you to the settings page. The first thing I wanna to go to here is navigations. And you'll notice I have a newsletters here, and then I have vashinator.com slash newsletter slash. So this part over here on the left, this is just the label that appears on the site. So if you want this to say something besides newsletters or whatever, you can make it say anything you would like. Here on right, you can make this something different than newsletter. If email maybe is better or something like that, that's perfectly fine. But whatever you pick for this link, you need to make sure that you remember this slash and then whatever word you pick and then slash. I mean, really, realistically, it can be like slash one slash if you wanted to, but I wanna to try to make this as SEO friendly as possible. So I'm trying to keep links that are logical to me. But like I say, this is optional. If you don't wanna link on your homepage to your newsletter archive, you don't have to have one. So if I just don't have this at all, this will just simply not show up on my homepage. I could still get to my newsletters by manually going up and typing forward slash newsletter forward slash, and that would get me there, but there just wouldn't be an easy way to get there. Keep that, like I say, if you did do this step, keep this slash newsletter or whatever word you entered slash in mind, because we're gonna need that in step three. Step two, this is required if you're wanting to split these out like I have done, because this is using a tag to filter the newsletters out to their own page. So if you go to the tags here, you'll notice I have a bunch listed here, but I also have a tab up here at the top that says internal tags. So if I click that, you'll see I have hashtag newsletter. And the hashtag here, that is what actually symbolizes that this is an internal tag. If you don't put a hashtag, it will be an external tag. And you may be okay with that. Personally, I like the idea of using an internal tag on this because it makes more sense to me since this is more about site organization than it is necessarily about the article itself. In this case, this is technically not something you have to do, but if you wanna split things out like I have, you do need to do this. So this can be, again, this can be whatever you want to make it. Again, you don't even have to use an internal tag, but for my purposes, I went hashtag newsletter. And as you can see down here, the slug, hash newsletter, whatever this slug says, we need to make sure that we note this so that we can include this in our YAML file. So I'm gonna keep this page up and open a new tab. I'm gonna open a new tab in the settings window because this is where we're gonna head back to next. So now we're back on the settings page. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll notice labs, and this is where we need to go next. So once you're on the labs page, head toward the bottom and you should see routes. 
and just click the button that says download current routes.yaml. And that should bring to whatever folder you save it in or your downloads folder, a file. I have already done this, so I'm not gonna do that here, but I am gonna bring over this folder and we're gonna take a look at routes.yaml. I'm gonna show you old routes.yaml first because this is what your file will probably look like initially, at least if you're on the Casper theme. Let me zoom in just a little bit. There we go. So by default, your routes file is very simple. It just has routes, colon, collections, colon, and then slash colon. And then it has a permalink of slug and a template of index. And then the taxonomy is tag slug author slug. That's very simple. I'm sure people have done a lot more with this file, but this is just the default. So now if I go and I click my new routes YAML file, let's take a look at what I've actually added. So collections, I have updated to have slash newsletter slash. And so again, this slash newsletter slash, that's what I set up in step one. So if I open this in a new tab, I can go over and I can look back at navigation. You can see here, this is exactly what I have after fashionator.com. I have slash newsletter slash, and that's what I need here. That's what this is telling it is that this is gonna live in the slash newsletter section of my site. The permalink will be again, slash newsletter, and then just slug. What, just, what this is saying is that it's gonna be in the newsletter section again, and then it's gonna add the slug of the article. If you don't know what the slug of the article is, you can actually see that whenever you're in an article and you click the little pane on the right to open up the right pane. And you can see the slug, you can see some metadata, things like that. Template. Technically, again, this is something that's a bit optional, but I would recommend considering this and I'll, I'll show you why in the next step. And then the last thing I have here is filter. And then I have tag colon hash dash newsletter. And so this is where I was talking about here on the tag page. This is where I got that. So this is, what this is doing is this is saying, okay, I'm only filtering to the hash dash newsletter articles and hash dash is the way it is displaying a hashtag here. So this is directly exactly what you need to put here after tag. So if you named yours something different than hashtag newsletter, whatever it says on that page under slug, that's what you need to put here. And so I did make one update here to the slash colon. So the slash colon is just the root directory. And the filter here that I added is a tag. And it's almost exactly the same as the one above, but notice there is a little dash in front of it. What that's saying is that is not this one. So it's literally filtering everything. Sorry, it's literally allowing everything but hash dash newsletter to come through. Meaning anything that I have hashtag newsletter on is never gonna show up on the homepage. And that's what this is, this template index, that is the homepage. You could, for your newsletter page, just have template index and it will show up exactly like the homepage. The reason I did not do that is because if you do that, you're gonna have this hero image here. You could, you know, if you turn that hero image off, you could theoretically get that set up, but it's a bit of more of a hassle because it doesn't have the easy kind of uh, custom setup here in the design tab and all that stuff. So it's it's more difficult to get rid of that that type of thing then. But what I did was I just created a new one and this is what it looks like. This template here, if you're wanting the, if you're not using index, this name is very important once again. And we're gonna take a look at what that looks like next. So keep this in mind as we move to the actual template file. So next, what we need to do is go to our settings and then go to design. Once you're on the design page, come down here to the bottom left and click this and then click advanced. And you'll notice that I have Casper, Casper with newsletter you wanna, you'll probably, if you're using Casper itself, you'll have Casper default and you wanna cl click that little three dots and hit click download. And that'll download a zip file. If you're using a different template, it could be a little bit different. And so your newsletter file 
that we create here may have to be a little different. But let me show you what it looks like with Casper and hopefully that'll give you enough information to kind of update your own template or create your own template file. So I've already unzipped this. I'm, I'm do using the Casper with newsletter one because that is the one that I have uploaded previously. So you'll notice here, this is actually exactly like it was. The only thing that I have added here is newsletter.hbs. And that is, I believe, a handlebars file. So if I double click and open this, you'll notice this is very, very simple. So it just has that main site main and then the site main outer. I believe that is the actual title bar at the top and then div class inner po post and then the post feed and another div and then div and main. I will have this on my website because this is, again, this is very simple. You can get a lot more complicated with this if you're more familiar with how ghost themes work and handlebars. But to put this in perspective of what this gives you, this gives you this newsletters page and it should look something like this. It will look a little different because I have done customizations to my color up at the top and other things. But all of that is just stuff you can do on the actual UI side of the design. But th that's what this looks like. That's why it doesn't have the hero pay or the hero image that's on the homepage because I don't have it. I literally just have a post feed and that's it. I don't have to worry about any other filter things here. It is really important what I name this though. It needs to be whatever I entered in routes.yaml here for the template and then .hbs. That needs to be the name of this file. I would encourage you to either copy this or copy your index file and make updates from there just to make it easier to get started with. And then you can obviously tweak as you go. So once you've done that, what you'll wanna do is you wanna save that file and then come back to whatever folder that your Casper, you know, your, your theme file folder is in. You're gonna to need to rename this folder to something different. So you, unless, you have a custom theme already, in which case you probably can just re-upload this. But since I am dealing with Casper and I want to make sure that my changes save, I need to right click this and then rename. And once I've done that, which I have already here because it's Casper with newsletter. Once I've done that, I need to take this folder and create a zip file from it. So I just right click the folder. I go down to compress and I click the zip zip option and it'll take it a moment it'll come up and it'll have casper with newsletter dot zip so i've successfully zipped my folder so back here in the themes if you still have this open you want to say upload theme you want to include the zip file you just added and you want to upload it and once you've uploaded that it should appear here in your list of installed themes and you just want to make sure that you click activate on it so that it actually becomes your active theme. If you are switching themes, you may have to come over and redo the stuff like the brand and the site-wide settings and the homepage if you have stuff like that in your theme. So that's something to keep in mind that if you do this, you may have to go tweak some of these settings again because these do not save out to your custom folder that you created. But once you've done all this, you should be able to come back to your homepage and you know, once you've saved all these settings, you've uploaded your routes file and you uploaded your theme update and you set that as your active theme, your site should look like this with the newsletters button and you should have any hashtag newsletter post here or whatever particular tag you used. If you do not have any post with tags here yet, it may be worth creating a test post and then, you know, showing it on the page and then unpublishing it just to make sure that everything is working as you expect. But I think this is actually a lot simpler than you're thinking it is. If you're looking at this and being like, oh, this sounds really complicated. It's honestly really not. It takes some time to figure it out the first time you do it, but I've gotten a lot more comfortable playing with this a little bit more as I've went. And it really is as simple as that. It, again, it sounds complicated, but 
it's really not. You just have to, the first two settings in particular, you just go in and update the navigations or you update the, and you create a tag if you need one. But the key thing is if something in this is not working, you want to go back and look for instances of maybe where you put, you know, a singular version of something versus a plural version of something, because that's what I had. I had like a newsletter and then newsletters. And so that would mess me up a little bit. So if you're looking at everything and you're looking and you're looking at your code and like the end, the template file is fine, the routes file is fine. Just go double check that it actually is displaying, you know, the same word, the same tag, the same whatever else, and make sure you actually have an article or a newsletter or something with that tag. Otherwise, again, this page will be blank. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time.